Hello Aquarius, welcome to Drake Tarot. My name is Becky and I'm here to do your love reading for May and April. Oh, April and May. Okay, I'm going to start off with some oracle cards to set the way. Um, if this doesn't resonate for you, please don't fret. <laughs> They're checking Moon, Rising and the Venus signs. You can check for more clarity there. Um, welcome to Cross Watchers. You can watch this too. Um, if you're checking up on someone and I also do private readings um, information is in the description so Aquarius so this is an animal card animal oracle Let's see what animal Aquarius have got for this month for love does Aquarius have for this month for love? Got a few, but the main one is Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion. Transcends Illusion. You've got Turtle Spirit. You've got one, two, three. Yeah, we'll just keep with Turtle Spirit and Dragon Spirit, otherwise, we'll be here all day. Slow and steady wins the race. Truth Transcends Illusion them up there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the next card is the darker side of us, the side that we don't like to look at and we deny. We all do this. Have a look. The child I was meant to be. So this card I always see is um, us regretting what how we are now. It's almost as if we kind of look back and think, oh, that's how I was. What happened? Um, the child I was meant to be is kind of... Um, Maybe you're looking at someone else with envy. It might be a case of this is someone who's in regret. They're in regret about how they have been, how they've developed. This could be you or another person, okay, Aquarius? Let's see what Archangel's coming out for Aquarius, please. Leadership. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Aquarius, yes. Okay. You are very wise in your ways, Aquarius. Now you need to put it into action. And your number for this month. The reason why I make it two months is because by the time I get round to making the next months, it's always like a month late. So um, if I make it for about two months, so whenever you read it is when you're meant to read it. And there's always two months leeway instead of one. I do love readings. I do general readings. Sometimes I do spiritual readings and career readings. Um, it all depends. So it's not constant. There is no consistency <laughs> with my readings. But um, I like doing it, and you will get one eventually. <laughs> you got nine, completion. Ooh, okay. There's Your lesson has been learned. So you did feel as if you regretted how, um, how you've got to where you are, and you've regretted, but you've completed this lesson. You kind of forgive yourself and the people around you and... You've come to um, a leadership role of understanding what the lesson was and the understanding. That's brilliant. Well done, Aquarius. Awesome. All right. And we need a colour. 
We have to have the colour. I'm all about the colour. Although, this looks a bit dark, I think. I don't know how... I think I'm going to have to take some stones out so you can see the writing better. You don't really want to know about that, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Aquarius... Oops. I'm sorry, that's too many. Let's try that way. Aquarius, please. Love for Aquarius. Ruby. Rejuvenate your body. Rejuvenate your body. So maybe it's something you need to do. Maybe you've got a bit stagnated um, where you are at the moment. It's kind of saying, come on, let's get your body going again. Do some stretches, do some yoga. Do some Pilates, go for a run, you know, that kind of good stuff. Okay, so this is going to be your energy. This is your tarot read, your Celtic cross. And the next tarot read I do will be for the person you're thinking of. It may necessarily, may necessarily, it might not necessarily <laughs> be the person who you're married to, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's just someone you're thinking of at this precise moment in time that's making you worry, there's problems, you know, it might not be a problem. You might be in between um, making a decision of changing. But um, yeah, this is going to give you some highlights. And there's always a little bit of cheeky advice in there as well. Mix it one more time. The ears going again. Okay, Aquarius. Past is getting the way of where you want to go to now. Um, we were talking about this, how you were in the past and how there was guilt, maybe regret that you were worried about. But that, that's been completed and you're putting on a leadership role. That's your next thing. So you have here this Princess of Staves, which is about a new message, a new something coming through. Could be dealing with a fire sign, which you've got Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. But there's you looking back to the past with the Six of Cups. Now, if you're single, if you're looking for something new, this is here for you. This new passionate relationship is here waiting for you. But here you are looking back in the past with the Six of Cups. So that's your obstacle. That's what we got going on here. There's you, the Queen of Arrows. And there you are, yeah. That so in the past you look at with love, a soul soul connection, a twin flame connection. This is someone who they're devoted to each other. Okay, um, you felt as if it was your happily ever after the person you were meant to be with. Now, but at the moment you're this queen of arrows, so you've become um, logical. You're not looking at the heart, you're not looking at the side of love. You're looking at how you want to live. Not a selfish, this is you looking after yourself. But this is someone that's just gone, you know what? I've had enough. You know, if that's not going to happen, if I can't go back to what I feel like I loved, then I can't do this. I can't be the Princess of Staves.
Okay, so what you've got here is that you want the challenge of, you want a challenge, you want something that is considered challenging, but you want um, someone to kind of tutor you, it's kind of, this could be something else, but it's coming through as, you, you want someone who you can look up to, someone who you can see as um, a peer, a peer, someone to look up to. And here you have this king of coins in your future energy. So here in your future, you could be dealing with an earth sign. You've got uh, Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus. And this person here, he's married. He's... Um, reliable he's committed he's there to hold his throne and what's underneath it and the people in his family around him and he's committed to this and that's in your future Aquarius so if you're in doubt if you're in between worlds if you're one that's kind of thinking you know what I've had enough just leave me be I'm happy where I am <laughs> um you are looking back in the past. You're happy being in this kind of, oh, I was happy in the past with this love here. Could have been dealing with a Gemini in the past. But yeah, your future involves this honest, reliable energy here. And it's coming towards you, Aquarius. Now, advice here, you've got the desire card. This is going forward with your desires. You making a choice about going towards what you want. So if this is the same person, if you're looking back in the past and thinking, I want to restart this, then you need to go towards this person and show the choices that you want to make. And then they make the choice about whether they want to make which we'll get on to the next tarot read. That's your challenge. Because your challenge is that you're seeing the logical side of this. And here you have the King of Arrows. You've got a lot of people in this reading. It's almost as if maybe you're surrounded. But you've got the King and Queen together. So this could be a divorced couple. People who are divorced um, or separated. But there's a king of arrows and this is how they see you. So it's almost as if they look at you upon a pedestal here. They look at you as in control and you have this, not cold, it's not cold, it's, it's logical. It's kind of, you're not looking at the heart of the matter, you're looking at the, the physical elements of the situation and where that stands. And you're not showing your emotions. You're not showing them. You're showing a leadership role because you've had completion of your lesson now. And you understand why it was done. You understand why the situation went in that way. And you've overcome the illusion of what that was all about. Oh my God, you got the... <laughs> I've shuffled these, I really have. Now you've got the queen of stays. So your hopes and fears is that you want this to be this sort of confident person that goes out and gets what she wants. She's the one that calls out and goes, hey, hey, love, fancy a drink. I don't know why I did it in that voice. That's so weird. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is the queen of staves and she's loving, she likes to celebrate, she likes to have fun. But she's got that that stick there, just in case. If anyone decides to want to start a fight or cause problems, she's there ready, just in case. Um, that's your hopes and fears. So it's kind of like um, a feeling of well-being, of happiness. No way. Do you know, this is the most amount of people I've had in one meeting. I think there's either a lot of gossip going on. There's a lot of people involved in this. There's lots of people surrounding you here, Aquarius. 
all having their own opinions, all having their own involvement in this situation. Because what you've got here is now the Princess of Arrows. This is the gossip card. This is trying to find out the truth, the spy card, trying to find out what's going on about the transformation that's happened. So it, what I see here is, is that you're looking past in the love situation, your soulmate, the ideal person, and and this is getting in the way of this Princess of Staves energy, this, this fire sign. But there's reliability coming forward to you here, this very handsome king of coins. And it's kind of, they're saying go towards your desire, go towards what you want. Don't stop looking at, stop being this queen of arrow that just sort of like stays where she is and goes, well, the logic is as a situation is that nothing will come of it. You know, um, you kind of, you've, this is your completion of understanding where you are in this situation. Um I don't want to confuse people because there is a divorce couple here. So some of you are divorced and maybe you're looking back towards each other again and thinking, can you see she's looking, looking that way. And he's kind of like, all right, I'm over here, you know. And <laughs> um, so there's maybe a rekindling, um, a reunion of sorts. And that reunion is coming up by the looks of it. And there's going to be reliability for some of you. You know, if you know for a fact that you're never getting back with this one, you know, I don't, you know, leave it at that. <laughs> this is for someone that's looking back going, oh, you know what? I'm looking back with fondness. I'm looking back with love. I'm looking back with the completions of the lessons that we have both learned in this situation. And, um, and what you're going back to is this very reliable king of coins. If you're not married, um, there is an earth sign coming your way for sure. And that they are worth your weight. They are worth the weight, okay? So if you have been waiting a while, this person is worth the weight. I love this reading, Aquarius. This is amazing. So with the princess's arrows there, but what you've got here is an accumulation of lots of people talking. Because you've got all these different people here, all having their own opinions, all ways of looking at the situation. Um, this is probably close family members. You're probably in a, um, um, a group of people that like to get involved with everyone else's business. So not all families are like this. And if it is a case of like um, you're dealing with the, the divorced, the other side of the family and, uh, you know, there's could be children involved, that kind of thing. Um, side note, if you are dealing with an heir child, this is going to need your attention. Um, there is transformation taking place with this person and... Um, we need to be aware of their mental stability. Okay, let's come through. Don't know what that's about. Okay, so let's go. Oh, before I do do this, I'm going to do. I love this deck. There's um the real ones. They're out of print. You know what I mean. Um. Anyway, so they're really expensive. But I've I've done the fatal thing and bought the the ones that are copies, and they're cheap and everything. But they're not they're not the same. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Two more, please. For Aquarius. Oh 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 oh. Got two. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Children, your love life is being affected by your children. There's something going on here, isn't there, Aquarius, for some of you? Okay. Right, so these, I have to close my eyes for these because once I get to know these cards, I'll know the pictures and then I'll be kind of cheating. So I'm just going to close my eyes now and get a good card. As soon as it... Okay, 
Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within the relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Ooh. One more, please. Oh, I love the picture. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Oh. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Lovely. Right, now let's find out what the other person's energy is up to. Because that's what we want to know. Oh, it went... One more. Okay. One's fallen on the floor. <laughs> side I'm trying to be a tidy tarot reader it's like nice neat there we go so the other person could be dealing with an Aries but this is Emperor energy this is a father figure someone who rules the roost who looks after their clan um and this person that you're thinking of wants to be this person here who wants to be the father figure, the one that's boss, okay? Um, there's a final judgment not being done on this person. It's almost like you have to make a choice on this person. Oh, okay, yeah, so what's coming through is... It's a divorced couple and they're waiting for your decision on where you want to go with this here, Aquarius. Yeah, Two of Swords, there's you not being able to make a decision. You need to remove the blindfold to be able to see where you need to go. Um, I keep going because we need more information on this. I've got the Eight of Cups there. The, the past is that he or she... The per other person walked away. This person walked away. And um, it's almost as if they realised that there wasn't any emotional cups left to fill. It, there, there was no future. The... Three of Swords. So they want to feel the heartbreak of this matter. It's... Yeah. Okay, let me just finish off. They need to lose out. Um, if this is a situation where you've made a decision and you don't want to go back, then there could be a sign that the other person is going to lose out. Uh, uh, this could be financially, but this is someone who's um, understanding where they went wrong and losing out because of it. Like uh, if you're getting divorced and you're doing all the lawyer stuff, um, it's that kind of feel to it. Because this person is going to end up being the king of swords, this cold energy in the future. So it's almost as if he knows that there's a divorce coming or um it, it, this could be past present future but that if the particular person i'm talking to which it's it's coming out is that they're they're kind of on the realization now of this is going to be a divorce now whether this is with yourself or with another person but there's um
I mean, it's kind of like you see this person is a bit loose, as in to being a bit of uh, a knight of wands, you know, choosing and picking when he wants and where he wants, you know, that uh, it's kind of... Um, while you're waiting for this King of Arrows to come back, he's busy sort of flaunting. It doesn't necessarily mean he is. It just means that he is seen celebrating. He's celebrating not the, the divorce, but he's celebrating um, to maybe take away the, the sadness. And there, yeah, because what you've got here. So he's looking for... He's got an addiction by the looks of it. This is very Pacific Aquarius. <laughs> you know, this doesn't, if you like that, yeah, switch off, I don't blame you. But there is a, someone here who's kind of looking towards their, um, their desires more than what they're, they're, they're committed to. They're not really being the king of coins here because they're looking at things that they desire more than... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so the, here's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, depending on how he goes about this, depending on what choice he makes or she, whoever this is, um, it's kind of the Wheel of Fate. So it's, it's a karma, a karmic wheel. Like, um, if you decide to go one way, it's like, fair enough, fine, your choice is to go that way. But with that, you're going to have other problems if you go the way of the king of coins. So is it you making this decision or is it the other person? <coughs> or both of you? Hmm. It's almost as if it's a typical separation where one of them is annoyed, angry because the other person wasn't committed enough in the in the marriage. But the one that's the other one that's showing not enough commitment and wasn't doing their bit that wasn't being the king of coins is kind of in a situation where he's choosing whether I can be single and fancy free or do I or do I go back to being the family man? Um here we have separation, there's children and we had engagement. So why was it, why did we Yeah, so this is a high level of commitment here. Now either that's towards your children or towards this person. But because you separated for a time, and I think the separation is going to be good for both of you because it's both going to give you um, a realisation about what you actually want. Okay, that's all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this has helped in any way possible. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, contact me, please. And um, hopefully see you next time. Take care, Aquarius. Bye.